co-organizers of Super City Hackathon. Um, some of you might have heard of um, this other hackathon called Stupid Hackathon. Uh, it was originally come from there. So, um, so it's kind of like, you know, if you like just Google search Stupid Hackathon, there's been like a, lot, a lot around the world. And uh, there's none here. There's one in Thailand. So in this region, so it's kind of like there's not a lot of like silly hackathons. So anyway, let me just go straight to this. So um, okay, I'm I'm on Twitter. Please follow me, please. Okay, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> so you can go to the website. Uh, it's supersillyhackathon.sg. So if you can try it on your phone, anyone taking phone now? You know, <laughs> just try it. Yeah, seriously, just try it. So. Um, if you can't see properly, so it's like I zoom it for you. So super silly hackathon.sg. So you might notice that, oh wait, the site looks like weird, right? The phone is like tilted. Uh, actually, it's the website that's tilted, kind of like that. I purposely uh, designed it that way because you will tilt your head like that when you look at a phone or you tilt your phone. Yeah, anyway, yeah. So, so that to make yourself look silly, yeah. <laughs> So, if you try it now, so for those of you who don't take out the phone and try, I, I prepare this for you. <laughs> so, uh, you can see that uh, when you scroll down, it scrolls uh, di diagonally. Um, I kind of like purposely do it because, uh, you know, like websites is always vertical. Some people are like a bit like more brief, like they do it vert, uh, horizontal scrolling websites. There are such websites as well. Uh, not very common, but there are some of them. So I'm like, uh, this is so boring, right? Like vertical, horizontal, why not diagonal, right? So, okay, let's build it. So, <laughs> so it's kind of cool, you know, it works. Yeah, I, I don't think anyone of you have ever seen this kind of like scrolling, right? Diagonal, like, yeah. So it's a bit um, interesting how I managed to make it work, yeah. So I also designed the whole uh, website and the logo for uh, Super City Hackathon, including the t-shirt, the mascot, 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 yeah. <laughs> and the, the, the smaller logos and all the, yeah, whatever logos that is. So it's kind of, yeah, I design, I code, I do the CSS, everything, yeah. So I think one of the first questions that people ask me when they look at the site is like, how, did, how do I do this, right? It's like, you know, kind of like simple and difficult at the same time. Yeah, okay, anyway. So some of you know, right? It's like this, it's like very simple, you know, like if you look at the website, you probably think, okay, it's transform, rotate, negative 15 degrees, magic number, 15, I don't know why, but so it's like, it's not 30, it's not annoying enough, and not so less annoying enough. So just nice, your head tilt like that. So if it tilts too much, you'll probably get annoyed, right? Yeah. <laughs> so, but actually it's more, like, more complicated. Yeah. So I rotate the whole uh, page. So it turns out that, oh, oh my God, like, um, by default, uh, CSS transform origin is in the middle. So if I rotate the whole page, right, then the, the red border is like your viewport, or your, your first uh, screen of the page. You actually can't see anything. So um, it's kind of like no one can see the content, and I rotate the whole thing, and I'm like, I scroll until halfway, and then, then only can see the, the middle part, right? So I'm like, huh, how do I do this? <laughs> this is uh, okay. So again, if some of you are good in CSS, you will know that, oh, I should shift it there, right? Uh, let's let's move it like up there, and then like after I move it, and then you notice that you know, down here, it's all empty, right? <laughs> so so wait, how do I do this? If I if I if I scroll down and I see nothing, the people like scroll horizontally, like you know, because it will create scroll bars now, right? The whole page will be like super huge, and then um, you can zoom out. So it's like a lot of weird things when you're on a mobile. So it's like hmm, how do I do this? So uh, I, I had a few attempts. Um, I'm going to go through them. Uh, not 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 all of them are like uh, the, the final one is like a bit different now. So this is the first one. So I the first attempt is move the transform origin. So as um, you know, 
uh, firstly you have to understand uh, transform origin right so uh, let me just go to this website if it's there so I really like this uh, site it's the only site that is very easy to see how it works so you just play this and then oh cool by default cool right it's in the middle and then uh, if you move the origin to like 20 pixel uh, X 70% Y like you know X Y so it's like oh you rotate around there so if it's transform origin top right you rotate around that origin so it's kind of like okay you get it right so origin affects the rotation where it goes to so let's go back so what I did is this is my first attempt uh, so when you scroll down I move the transform origin kind of weird right like most people animate uh, other things like width height top left I animate transform origin itself <laughs> like, and somehow it works so it's like so easy and like just uh, it's JavaScript anyway uh, I, uh, it's a bit JavaScript I'm not going to show the code since this is like CSS well, what's JavaScript I have yeah what, what's JavaScript man like yeah <laughs> seriously yeah so it's like oh okay if I scroll down I know the value you know like I just move the transform origin down that's it and somehow you know the the yellow box uh, magically move to the left huh so it's like huh that works that's works that's that's very easy yeah so the pros super super easy but uh, a bit slow a bit weird I yeah it feels weird like as a, like if you do CSS right it's really weird to animate transform origin yeah it's it's like I don't know it just feels weird <laughs> and then uh, there's still like this weird horizontal scroll bar thing it's like when you move the thing the whole page moves and then the scroll bar somehow moves in a very weird way I don't even know and then what happens if you zoom out and then oh my god yeah so many so many things to like take care so I, I'm like okay let's let's do in a in a more correct way <laughs> so I do translate X so uh, in CSS transform you can translate X which is like the horizontal so I'm just I just want to move to the left right so okay cool translate X makes sense animating translate X makes sense right and uh, some math okay uh, okay so there's a link down there if you don't know why it's uh, translate so I do a bit of math I you know take out a book uh, my notebook do some drawings you know like uh, you know go back to like the primary school or secondary I don't know what school I'm in <laughs> like, and then I look up Wikipedia like what, what is this called actually like Pythagorean theorem Pythagoras theorem yeah <laughs> so I'm like oh so turns out the math stuff is uh, quite useful yeah so I, <laughs> so I okay so this is like the basics right scroll down move left easy right scroll down move left and then like a bit of magic plus viewport divided by two you know because it's in the middle yeah yeah, viewport viewport height actually wrong idea viewport height divided by two kind of like in this around there but like you know it's like roughly so I'm like but then when I rotate right I realized that uh, translate X uh, is relative to the to the yellow box itself so I'm like oh the yellow box rotated so the XY has been rotated so if I translate X it's like actually going down so I, I wanted to go that way but you know that way but it goes down and I'm like okay this is like a bit okay a bit more math now okay so again look at this and then uh, yes <laughs> so yeah so S is like the scroll top uh, M is like the moving to the left thing so so I, I need to know how much I need to scroll I, and how much I need to move to the left based on how much I scroll right and then uh, theta 15 degrees because I set it myself so I know the value and then how about this uh, okay hmm so I'm like okay kind of like this I think I think roughly like this okay <laughs> so it's like oh X is like so in order to move to my actual left since it moves down I need to like, move down then up again kind of like that uh, okay so it's like I need to know X and Y value so with all this formula uh, magic happens uh, okay it works exactly the same <laughs> exactly the same as transform origin like yeah just now the, just now I showed the yeah exactly the same 
So I'm kind of like, oh, cool, this, all this math stuff, you know, it works. <laughs> yeah. So I'm quite proud of this, actually. You know, I, I wanted to show everyone that, hey, I can do math. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> but uh, it's kind of, still kind of slow, actually. Yeah. It's, it's cool, you know, it's, it's still kind of slow, still got the horizontal scroll bar thing. You know, when you zoom out, again, the same problem. You know, I can do it, but still not there yet. And then, and then it turns out uh, I have a third attempt, which is actually simpler than the second attempt. So I wrap another div, another container element around the rotated element. So I visualize it for you. So the yellow box is the rotated one. I put another div outside, which is not rotated. So instead of moving the yellow box, I move the dotted yellow box instead. So I don't have to do that, you know, that Pythagoras theorem again, you know. So it's easier to count, uh, I mean, easier to calculate. So it's like down and then left, that's it. So it's like, oh, it turns out it's actually quite easy. <laughs> so I don't have to do all this math. <laughs> so I'm like, so after this, I feel quite dumb. I'm like, <laughs> yeah. so I'm like, what? okay. Anyway, so it's, uh, sim it's simple. Uh, I can transition it if I want to. And since I have another div, I can kind of like, you know, hide the scroll bar myself with uh, overflow, you know, so I have more control over the whole thing now. So I can hide everything. I can hide all the scroll bars if I want to. But for some reason, uh, it still lag a bit, just a bit. And uh, I don't really know why. Uh, so it performs very well on mobile browsers, uh, but decent on desktop browsers. So this is kind of like a weird thing for me because it's like, you know, mobile phones have always been like, you know, not as powerful as desktop, but turns out it performs better on the mobile than the desktop. So that's really weird. So on mobile, if you try it right, it's super smooth. I'm like, oh my God, this is so good. On desktop, it's like lag. So it's like playing those games with like very low, like frame per second, like frame rate thing. Yeah. It's like, like it's just skip, like stop, stop, stop there. I'm like, something is very wrong here. I don't understand why, you know, like, so this is on Firefox. So when I scroll down, it moves to the left very slowly and moves to the right very slowly. So it, it really lags a lot. So on Chrome, actually on Chrome is much better. On Firefox is like this. So I'm like, whoa, this is really bad. I'm like, like what's happening here? Like this is like really weird. So, and then like people like tell me, can you guys read this? Like, so, uh, like damn, on my monitor, for every scroll down, the entire thing is sort of like vibrating. My eyes died. Then I use another mat, then and the scroll is fluid. I'm like, huh? Hmm. Okay. Because the background is not fixed, scrolling on the mouse wheel creates a pretty strong flicker. So mouse wheel problem now. So it's like, hmm. Okay. This is okay. Okay. Actually, more complicated, right? Turns out. Okay. Research time. Yeah. <laughs> So I researched, you know, like there used to be this thing called scroll jank. Uh, this it exists like since four or five years ago. Yeah. Um, so if you try to search for this term, right, on Google, scroll jank, no one actually go and define the term. <laughs> so I'm like, from, from, eh? no one actually defines what is scroll jank. And then you always see in the comments that like, people are like, what is, what is scroll jank? You know, no one tells me how, what is scroll jank. So this is like something I got it from this page. So it's like when you scroll a page and then there's such a delay that the page doesn't feel anchored to your finger, um, that's called scroll jank. So it's like when you scroll, it doesn't follow your finger or doesn't follow your, uh, your mouse. So it's like lag, it janks, okay? So I researched and then I found out about this thing. So there's this, this, uh, this new thing called uh, passive event listeners. This is kind of like JavaScript now, so it's, yeah. So, so you can read through all these things. So, uh, it started from Chrome, I think. Yeah, and it's now default. Yeah, in one of the Chrome versions. So what they do is like they make like the scroll events passive. Like passive. Like so instead of like, you know, like every time when you scroll, right, the browser will try to like, oh, let's do, do let's run your code first, then you scroll. So that's when it becomes like slow, right? So it's try to do two things at the same time. So now it's like they ignore your code already. So it's like that's your code will just run on its own. I'll just ignore it. So passive is kind of like that. So uh, you can read more. Actually, the documentation is very long. So it's super, super long. So it's like, yeah. So I'm not going to <laughs> show this. Yeah. And then there's the browser support thing. A lot of browsers are supporting this now. And then uh, 
Firefox itself uh, got its own thing called uh, Async Pen Zoom, which is now enabled in Firefox Quantum. So, um, so if you try Firefox Quantum now, right, it's super smooth, right? So what they do is uh, they, so that, that's an explanation, that like scrolling is decoupled from the JavaScript thread. So um, now the browser don't really care about your code anymore, seriously, like it just scrolls, like, you know, it's like separate thread, you know, I don't care about your main uh, code anymore. So it just scrolls and then like you will like, so somehow you get like, like, you know, your code will be like kind of slow in a way, but the browser still don't care. Yeah, anyway. So, and then there's this new thing called animation worklet. So, so turns out like the, this, this, uh, this standards people, they, they create um, a, like something like, like web animations that is linked to your scroll uh, timeline. They call it timeline for some reason. So turns out that your scroll bar can become like a timeline for your animations. So if you know like these days websites they have a lot of like when you scroll down a lot of animations flying around thing. So think of your scroll bar like a timeline for your animations now. Like it's like those those uh, let's say when you play a video right that bar at the bottom is your scroll bar. So kind of like whoa that's kind of cool you know like huh they've they've like you know, do all these things. So now you can define your animations at specific scroll uh, offsets and the browser optimize it for you. And, and it can be like pure CSS. I'm like, whoa, this is like good. And yeah, and then you like, the browser will throw everything to GPU and then it's like even faster. So that's kind of cool. I'm like, okay, cool. Okay. I suspect that's the problem. You know, I suspect like the browser is like ignoring my code and then like make things slow, right? <laughs> but actually not. <laughs> so uh, there's this CSS property called will change. Uh, if anyone here knows will change, will change. Okay, no one knows will change. Okay, so this is kind of new. Actually, it's kind of old. Yeah, it's been there for some time already. So will change, uh, it's kind of like you tell the browser that, oh, I'm going to uh, animate this property. Can you optimize it for me? Yeah, and then the browser will like say yes. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, so you can uh, kind of like tell the browser to animate anything. Like you, the browser kind of like, I don't know, do some optimization, preparing a few frames in front of your animations or something like that. So that's kind of cool, but then so I apply it on my uh, on a Super City Hackathon website, and then it gives me this error. This is Firefox, so it says that uh, my memory consumption is too high. Budget limit is the document surface area multiplied by three, uh, 40, 400,000 pixels. So I'm like, what is this? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so it turns out they have a limit. So you can't just like apply wheel change on anything. So you can't just tell like the browser, can I set wheel change on every single property on every single like element? Cannot, cannot. <laughs> because that's like too much for the browser to handle, right? So, and then I read this uh, another page. Uh, so one of the point is to reduce paint, uh, uh, not paint, paint areas. So, uh, so it's, like, it's like a pro tip. So it's like uh, when you do your animations and transitions, make sure it doesn't like overlap, you don't do too many things at the same time, and don't animate too many things, too many areas at the same time. So it's like, that's like a pro tip, you know, if you want uh, like 60 frames per second like website, don't do too many things, yeah. At least like optimize, like if this part is not moving, make sure it doesn't repaint itself, yeah. So you have to like do a lot of debugging, opening the console, see the highlighting thing, yeah, a lot of stuff. And then I'm like looking at this. The, the website has very large paint area because the whole page has to repaint itself, right? When you scroll, the whole page just, you know, have to redraw everything. And then I animate the whole thing itself. <laughs> so it turns out I'm like pushing the limits here. <laughs> so, so all those best practices, I'm like against it, <laughs> all of them at once. <laughs> so they tell to minimize, I maximize everything. <laughs> they tell like to like, or like, to animate only certain things, I animate the whole thing. <laughs> so I'm like, 
oh, okay, this is a bit more difficult. Huh? <laughs> so in the end, <laughs> actually, <laughs> I have no idea what I'm doing. It kind of works now. Uh, I'm, I'm still trying to figure out how to optimize this uh, page. Uh, there are few tricks that I have in my mind, but I have to try it first. Uh. So it's like, yeah, it's still kind of, so it's, if some of you know uh, like ways to optimize. So because if you look at the page, right, the whole thing animates. I'm like, how do you even optimize that, right? Like, yeah. <laughs> But at least I, you know, I learned something new, you know, like I learned a lot of things, a lot, learned a lot of all this new, new stuff, and what, what's the standards people are doing to fix this. Yeah, thank you.